Hi, we are Engineering Brothers and this is our seventh problem on Thevenin's theorem and this problem is unique as we have chosen some unique problems to solve over here as you can understand that or you can feel that I am not here to solve the same type of problem over here I have chosen different sort of problem different types of problem to increase your confidence or you may do this type of solution by your own method okay so let us start our proceeding I am going to draw this circuit over here okay as you can see that there is no element is present in between this a and this one so I can draw this circuit like this one so this is our a and this is our voltage source and that value of voltage source is 9 volt okay this one is our 9 volt okay and this one is our what is the value of that resistance the, this one which is 9 ohm and this along with this our 3 ohm this one is our 3 ohm resistor which is connected in series with our current source and that value of current source is 2 amps okay and let us do complete our circuit I want to repeat this portion once again you can see that as there is no element is present in between this a this point this point so I can draw this circuit just like this one okay and the rest of the circuit will be same so this is our R1 okay and what is that value of that R1 that value of that resistance is 2 ohm resistor and the next one is our 3 volt voltage source is connected so this one is our 3 volt voltage source and this is our node C okay and this one is our R2 and that value of R2 is 2 ohm this one is 2 okay 2 ohm and that 2 ohm resistor is connected in series with our resistor and that value of that voltage source is 10 volt so this is our 10 volt and our rest of the circuit will be look like this one so this one is our 3 ohm resistor okay and our this is our minus plus always do remember or make sure about your polarity of, a, of your voltage source if the polarity of your voltage source is wrong then your solution is wrong okay so let us check our diagram once again I want to repeat this portion once again as there is no element is present in between a this node and this node I can draw the circuit in this way okay and this one is our R1 and that value of R1 is our 2 ohm resistor and that 2 ohm resistor is connected in series with our 3 volt voltage source so the value of this voltage source is 3 volt and for the rest of the circuit this one is our C and that 2 ohm resistor is connected and this one is 10 volt voltage source and this one is our uh, 3 ohm and this is our R4 okay so this one is our R4 and the rest of the circuit is look like this one okay I can write this portion as our I am going to draw this portion over here okay I am only taking this portion so this is our voltage source this is 9 volt and this one is connected parallelly with our this one is our 3 ohm and this one is our 2 ampere current source okay and this one is being taken as AB so what is the voltage across this AB point the VAB will be what is that now if I do take this portion of voltage as VAB 
this one is plus this one is minus now if you do apply the kvl in this closed loop always make sure that you just take this voltage source as the vav is placed or connected placed or connected parallelly with our 9 volt okay so voltage across this ab point will be the same with this one okay now if you do take this 9 volt and this vav now you will get the voltage across this ab point without considering this current source and the 3 ohm voltage source okay so what is the voltage across these two points the voltage is now if you do apply the kvl what is that minus plus means plus 9 plus minus means minus vav which is equal to 0 okay now if you do simplify this expression what is the voltage across this av point the voltage across this av point is going to be 9 volt okay so this is our 9 volt okay so you can just you can neglect this 9 volt 9 ohm uh, 9 ohm resistor or uh, these 2 amps 3 ohm uh, resistor you can neglect that you can only do consider that that voltage in in this ab point or voltage across this ab point is going to be 9 volt okay so this is our take so voltage across this ab point will be 9 volt okay so i can erase this portion as this resistor and uh, these two ohm uh, two ohm current source and three ohm resistor are making some confusion okay and uh, this is the beauty of our electrical circuit theory analysis only this circuit will be present here and i can take that in between this ab point the voltage across this as vav okay now you can forward to this path but once again i think uh, i am i should show that circuit over here as you can see that the current is flowing in this way that is why the voltage across this av is 9 volt okay so i can't refuse or i can't eliminate or neglect this portion for that as the i current is flown through this closed path okay that is why i can't neglect that path so that is why i can show you that the voltage across this ab point is vav means 9 volt so this is our first important expression which is very very essential to solve this problem okay and uh, let us complete our rest of the circuit okay so 9 volt is connected along uh, with our 9 this one is our 9 ohm resistor is connected and that a point is connected along with our this one is our 3 ohm resistor is connected along with our current source and this current source value is 2 amps okay and in this closed path the diagram has shown that in this closed path a current has flown and that value of current is i so a current is flowing which is i okay now we should find out the current through this or the current uh, value of i okay so to complete that one i just need to do apply the kvl in this closed loop or in this closed path which has been shown as a b c d okay so this one is our d point now if you do apply kvl in the loop what is the loop name the loop name is a b c d now what is the equation over here the equation is we have come out with the vav so we no longer do require to consider these two amps and three ohm so we can take the vav okay so this one is our vav so minus plus means plus vav and what is the value of vav as the vav is present ac parallelly across our 9 volt so quite automatically the vav value will be 9 volt okay 
now let us take the rest of the circuit as the current has flown in this way so this is our polarity so plus minus means minus 2 multiplied with our current i plus minus means minus 3 volt okay once again the current has flown in this way as this portion is open circuited as through this path no current is flown in this way so all the current is going in this way okay I want to repeat this portion once again as this portion is open circuited there is no current should be flown in this closed path so all the I current should be flowing in this way okay or in this closed loop so I have taken the voltage across this AV point and I want to repeat this portion why do I neglect this 2 amp and 3 ohm as quite naturally the voltage across this AV is placed parallelly with our 9 volt so I can say that the voltage across this AB is nothing but the 9 volt. Okay, so we no longer do require to consider the voltage across this 3 ohm. We can directly take the voltage across this AB point as 9 volt. Okay, this one is our VAV. And the next one is the voltage across this R1 resistor, which is 2 into I. And for this voltage source, this one is our 3 volt. And as the current has flown in this way, what is the polarity through this resistor? This one will be our polarity. So what is that value or what is the voltage across this resistance R2? The resistor value 2 multiplied with our current I and plus minus means minus 10 which is equal to 0. So this is our closed loop expression over here. Now if you want to come out with the expression of I, we just need to solve this expression over here. But before I go into that, I want to give you 2 minutes to note down up to this one and I want to repeat this portion once again as there is no element is present in between this A node, this node, this node. I can draw the circuit in this way and why do I consider or why do I neglect this 2 ampere current source along with this 3 ohm resistor because the voltage across this AB point is placed parallelly, parallelly with our 9 volt voltage source that is why or that is the only reason I can take that the voltage across this AV will be 9 volt. So we no longer do require to understand or we no longer do require to perform or we should eliminate this portion over here as the voltage across this AV point will be or is going to be 9 volt. Okay. So this is the beauty of this circuit theory problems. That is why I have chosen this problem to show you or, or to clear your concepts that is why I keep on telling you to do subscribe our channel because this type of conceptual problems are altogether missing on YouTube platform and I am doing it for your convenience that is why I need your support okay so the time starts now
in our previous part we have described our circuit so this is our given circuit and i have uh, shown you that the voltage across this ab point will be 9 volt as uh, this ab point is connected parallelly with our 9 volt voltage source we always do find out the voltage across these two points which is ab and i have applied the kvl to find out the unknown current value which is been shown over here and this current is flowing in this way now if you do put the value of this vav in our equation so what is the value of this vav vav is 9 minus 2i minus 3 minus 2i minus 10 which is is equal to 0 okay now what is the value of this i let us do solve this equation so we have got this one is minus 4y this two and if you do transfer uh, these values this one is 10 plus 3 minus 9 okay so this one is 13 minus 9 okay and what is the value for that the value is 4 okay now what is the value of our current over here i am going to use this space so minus 4i means our 4 okay so i means our minus 1 amps so this is our second important expression over here so our i current is minus 1 amps okay now the next thing is for our Thevenin's theorem we are aiming to find out the open circuit voltage so which one is our open circuit voltage as you can see that this xy points this is our open circuit voltage so this our it is look like our open circuit voltage so we are aiming to find out this one which is our open circuit voltage over here so we have come out with our unknown current expression which is been flowing in this closed loop and we have got the current value is minus 1 amps okay now if you do apply the kvl in the outer loop you will get the open circuit voltage okay so let us do that so what is the value of our open circuit voltage how to find out just if you do apply the kvl in the outer loop you will have the open circuit voltage so what is that now if you do apply the kvl minus plus means plus 10 for this voltage source and as the current has flown in this way there is definitely some voltage drop is present across this resistor okay so minus plus means plus i multiplied with r2 okay i means our current which is flown through our 3 ohm resistor and there is no voltage drop across this r4 or across this resistor why because no current is flown in this part so here so through this path if i take this one here if i take the current through this r4 through this path say here this one is being taken as i1 i have taken the current across or current through our r4 which is i1 which is 0 amps why do i consider this as 0 amps as the circuit is open we do know that as the circuit is open there is no current should be flown through that path as what is the fundamental concept to have our current we always know that to have our current the circuit should be closed but here the circuit is open okay so what is the voltage drop through our r4 so current i1 multiplied with our resistance so here i1 is 0 so 0 multiplied with 3 means 0 volt so that is why the voltage across our 3 ohm resistor is going to be 0 volt okay so let us neglect that minus plus means plus 5 
as that is our voltage source is present and plus minus means minus VOC which is is equal to 0. I want to repeat this portion once again. I am going to apply the KVL through this outer loop. So this one is not ABCT. I am going to apply the KVL in our outer loop. Okay. So what is that? So this is for our 10 volt. This one is our current through our 2 ohm resistor as a current is flown through this loop and I have neglected this 3 ohm resistor as no current is flown through this path and as no current is flown through this as no current is flowing through this path as the outer circuit is open circuited okay then what is the voltage drop across our 3 ohm resistor the voltage drop will be 0 multiplied with 3 which is 0 volt and uh, the voltage source of 5 volt is applied or present now so this one is our 5 volt and the last one is our voc now if you do solve this expression you will get our voc so what is the voc if i do transfer in our right hand side we have got 10 plus what is the value of our i the value of our i which is being flown through this closed loop what is that that value of current is minus 1. So, minus 1 multiplied with what is the value of our R2? R2 is 2. Okay. Plus 5. So, 10 plus 5 means 15. This one is minus 2. Okay. So, what is the value of our open circuit voltage? The value of our open circuit voltage is 13 volt. Okay. So this is our first unknown value over here. So after we have analyzed, we have got the VOC is going to be our 13 volt. Okay. I want to repeat this portion once again. First, in our first part of the video, we have come out with this as the voltage across this AB point is going to be 9 volt. Uh, so I no longer do consider these two amps and three ohm voltage, uh, three ohm resistor. So I have directly taken these as a BAV, which is nothing but our nine volt, and the current is flown through this path. So I have considered the voltage across our two ohm resistor, and uh, and our three volt voltage source is present, and as the current is flown in this way, why I have considered the current has flown in this way as this portion of our circuit is open circuited so quite naturally or for our shake of our simple way this one is open circuited that is why all the current should be flown in this way so after we have applied the kvl in this closed loop we have got the current value which is nothing but the minus one amps okay so the next step is very simple we are here to solve our circuit by using Thevenin's theorem. So what are the two important tools we have got? The important tools are first we should come out or first we should find out the open circuit voltage. Okay, so which one is our open circuit voltage? So the open circuit voltage is going to be the voltage across our XY terminal. That is our open circuit voltage. So I have applied that. Now, if you do apply the KVL in our outer loop, you will get the open circuit voltage. So, this one is our voltage source. And as the current has flown uh, through our 2 ohm resistor, so there should be a voltage drops across that resistor as well. And why do I neglect this 3 ohm resistor as no current is flown through this path? I have considered that the I1 current, which is zero, as no current is flown in this way then what is the voltage drop across that 3 ohm resistor that voltage drop is going to be quite naturally 0 multiplied with 3 which is 0 volt okay now what are the voltage so if you do need to find out the open circuit voltage you should apply the KVL in our outer loop that is why i have applied that so this 10 volt voltage source the voltage across our 2 ohm resistor the 5 volt and this VOC will be present there that is why I have applied that in our expression and after I have analyzed all those uh, 
uh, equations I have got the voltage or open circuit voltage or VXY is going to be our 13 volt okay hope you have understood my total analogy over here if you still have any doubts please let us know in the comment section below if you have any queries problems if you have any constructive suggestions regarding our channel please let us know in the comment section as well okay so the time is up i want to give you another two minutes to note down up to this one and after that i will come out with our last important or crucial one or crucial expression which is equivalent resistance that will be done in the next part okay so the time starts now the best part of our channel is quite simply you can feel that we have created an environment where we can show you 
the different type of problems over here and how do you solve this problem and it actually increases your confidence level to solve this type of problems by your own method okay always do believe in yourself and always make sure that your concepts should be clearer while solving this type of circuitry problems Thevenin's theorem is very very essential and it is very very essential for the competitive exam as well okay that is why my ultimate suggestion to you is to follow my channel do subscribe my channel that is the own mantra because we are here to solve numerous or different type uh, solve different type of problems and you can relate with our previous solutions that is why my ultimate suggestion is always do follow my videos from the beginning towards the end that will be better for you to solve your problem and while following my videos always try to solve this type of problems by your own on your notebook so always make sure that a notebook is present beside your mobile or your computer screen to solve this type of problem as what is the ultimate objective for that i have shown you all the tiny steps or all step by step analogies over here and that will help you and that will increase your confidence level back and you will do solve this type of problems by your own skills or by your own concepts okay electrical engineering stream is not very hard the concepts are very very logical so if you don't understand the concepts it will make your life harder okay now get back to our problem in our previous part we have shown you that how to come out with our open circuit voltage source and we can say or we will show you that what is the open circuit voltage the open circuit voltage is 13 volt okay and how do i solve this uh, problem or how do i come out with this open circuit voltage uh, that is been solely described by me okay so my suggestion is quite simple do follow my videos from the beginning towards the end that will clear your mind and you will be confident to solve this type of problems okay and the best part is that we are making a environment where we can solve different type of problems i am here not to show you the same same amount of problem or same type of problem to solve the same one okay i have chosen different problems to make a environment where we can thrive towards our excellence okay now get back to our problem so in our last analogy we have come out with our open circuit voltage which is 13 volt now the next step is we are going to find out the equivalent resistance for our thevenin's theorem so let us do that so to do that i think uh, we should eliminate or erase all those portion to show you how do you solve the equivalent resistance for this type of particular problem okay so let us do that i will completely erase all the portion as this portion is not been required and only the answer portion will be present and that will help me to draw the ultimate final circuit diagram which is our main destination point so we have come out with our open circuit voltage the next part is we should find out the equivalent resistance which is thevenin's equivalent resistance which is been indicated as rth so i should draw the whole circuit to clear your concepts okay 
so this is our 9 volt voltage source is present that is been connected parallelly with our 9 ohm resistor okay and rest of the circuit will be follows so this is our a node and this is our 3 ohm resistor is present and that is connected with our current source and what is the value of our current source the value of our current source is 2 amps okay which is connected along with this 2 ohm and this one is our 3 volt okay and this is our R2 and what is the value of our R2 the R2 is 2 ohm and this one is our voltage source so the value of this voltage source is uh, this one is our 10 volt and uh, the rest of the circuit is this one is our 3 ohm okay and this one is our the, uh, the polarity is very very essential so this one is minus this one is uh, plus and that value of this voltage source is 5 volt and so this is our overall circuit okay so our first way to come out with this equivalent resistance what is that deactivate all our voltage source or current source so here we can see that a voltage source is present and here we can analyze that this one is current source this one is voltage source this one is voltage source this one is voltage source okay we just need to deactivate all those sources to have our or to find out the equivalent resistance so what is the method if you deactivate our voltage source the path will will be or the path is going to be short circuited and for our current source the path is going to be open circuited okay so let us do that so after removal of this or after deactivation of this voltage source the circuit is look like this one okay short circuited okay now if you go further towards our right hand side this is our current source so this portion will be open circuited okay so this one is our open circuited similarly for our 3 volt voltage source this one is deactivated as that one is as our voltage source so this one is also our short circuited so this is our short circuited terminal and for our 10 volt the same procedure the short circuit okay how to deactivate all those uh, voltage source or current source that portion is very very essential to find out or to come out with our equivalent resistance okay and the last one is our 5 volt which is been present over here and these path are short circuited okay so this is our complete circuit over here and I want to say that what is the value of this short circuit resistor the value of this short circuit resistor is 0 ohm so this parallel with 9 ohm so 9 parallel 0 means ultimately we have the resistance which is 0 so I am going to show you all the steps that is why I am writing the answers over here i want to repeat this portion once again as you can see that 9 ohm resistor is placed parallelly with our short circuit path so short circuit path means it has zero resistor okay so 9 parallel 0 means 9 multiplied with 0 divided by 9 plus 0 okay and ultimately we have got the zero okay so these two paths are connected in parallelly and it has no significance over here so i can eliminate those do these two paths to finally have the answer of our r equivalent resistance okay but before i go into that i want to give you two minutes to note down up to this one and after that in our next part we will conclude our total solution over here hope you have understood my total analogy over here if you have any doubts please let us know in the comment section below so the time starts now
I want to repeat this portion once again. This one is not in volt as the resistor is always in zero ohm. Okay, and because of this parallel path, the zero ohm resistor, as this one is short circuited, which is placed parallel with a nine ohm resistor, that is why the overall resistance value will be zero ohm. So I can erase these two parallel paths as these two paths are not required by me. Okay. And the another thing is, okay, the another thing is, as the current source is present over here, you can feel that or you can see that the 3 ohm resistor connected series with this open circuit path. And because of this open circuit, so it has lost its credibility because of this open circuit. So we no longer do require to utilize this 3 ohm resistor as these 3 ohm resistor are placed in series with our open circuited terminal. That is why we can eliminate this portion as well. Okay. Now if you do increase the path of this 2 ohm resistor, so I can draw this portion over here. Okay. I can draw this is our 2 ohm resistor as this one is placed over here and this one is our RTH. Okay. We know that for the usual convention as the RTH is coming from or considered from over here. So we should consider the calculation or formulation of this RTH from this direction. Okay. So what is the value of our RTH quite naturally the RTH is two parallel to two parallel to as the two ohm two ohm resistor are connected parallelly and that is being added with our three ohm resistor and that is our ultimate value of our RTH. Okay. So what is the value of two parallel to two multiplied by two divided by two plus two and this one is plus three. Okay. So what is that value? This one is four divided by four plus one plus three sorry plus three and this one is our one plus three and we have got the resistor value as four ohm so this is our RTH value over here I want to repeat this portion once again after deactivation of this all this voltage source and current source the nine volt uh, nine volt is been which is been deactivated and what is the de or uh, what is the form of deactivation after we have got this path is short circuited so short circuit path 9 ohm means which means 0 as the 9 ohm resistor placed parallelly with our short circuited path and what is the value of a short circuit path or what is the resistance value for that short circuited path we know that that value is 0 so 9 parallel 0 means 0 so these two are eliminated and 3 ohm resistor connected open circuit uh, connected with open circuit with this current source as we do know that how to activate the current source by just eliminating the current source and instead of that current source the open circuited terminal will be present in our given circuit so 3 ohm resistor placed in series without open circuited path that is why the 3 ohm resistor is also eliminated so this one is our short circuited this one is also short circuited so only this circuit will be present okay and how do you find out the 2 ohm resistor which is connected parallel with a 2 ohm along with which is and both the parallel path or both these parallel resistance are connected in series with a 3 ohm resistor which is our final answer so after that we have got the value is our 4 ohm and what is the value of our RTH? The RTH is 4 ohm. So I should note down over here the RTH is going to be the 4 ohm. Okay. Now what is our final answer we have got? Let us draw that. So what is our equivalent circuit? So we have got our open circuit voltage by using Thevenin's theorem the next path is we are having our equivalent resistance which is RTH 
and our final answer is going to be this one what is that so what is our final equivalent circuit final equivalent circuits is going to be this one is our voc and that value of our voc is 13 volt which is connected with our equivalent resistance so what is the value of our equivalent resistance so this is our rth the rth value is going to be 4 ohm okay so this is our overall circuit and this terminal is x and this terminal is y okay as you can see that the xy terminal is been open circuited and no resistance or load resistance is present for our present given circuit then we should make this one as open circuited as no load resistance is present in between our x and y terminal so we no longer do require to connect any type of load resistance over here okay if a particular load resistance is been given then you should connect the load resistance value along with this xy terminal along with this xy terminal to have our complete picture of our overall circuit or complete picture of our equivalent circuit for our Thevenin's theorem okay so this is our complete solution of this particular problem hope you have understood my total analogy over here if you still have any doubts please let us know in the comment section below and uh, if you have any constructive suggestions regarding our channel if you have come out with uh, any type of problems uh, regarding any part of our video please let us know in the comment section as well um, we will try our level best to improve that portion to make our videos error free okay so and uh, lastly please do subscribe our channel because we need your support and you can feel that no one is doing this type of uh, mind-blowing solutions or uh, this type of videos are altogether very very special to have and if you do solve this type of problems by following my videos you will have the idea to or if you have the confidence to solve this type of particular problems and you will no longer do required to follow any other channel to solve this type of problems so only do follow our videos or do follow our channel so what is the method just do subscribe our channel that will help us or enhance our path or enhance our confidence level to follow our own methods to solve this type of problems okay so that's it thank you and goodbye
If you like my video, so what are you waiting for? Please do subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon for more updates, and stay tuned to the channel. Thank you and goodbye.